I have this very proud habit of watching this guy at night. I really enjoy it not just because it is calm and peaceful but also because it engages my mind in some sort of weird topics worth telling to someone who is interested in listening to it. I'm reading this because when I wrote this down I was at my best to form sentences that could convey my feelings and help you go as deep as I went while gazing the stars. There is no face cam as I didn't want to just close your eyes and listen. So let's begin. On a fine night I came up to the terrace to watch the stars. Being frank, I actually came to see if the overhead tank is filled. But the weather was so fine that I could not ignore my soul's wish to gaze the sky. So I sat down, placing my body slant but straight on a chair so that it could face the sky. Try to make my head comfortable enough to see the sky without any neck pain. Uh, but i failed or was half successful now that i was physically ready to gaze the sky and immerse into random thoughts i started off by watching the clouds the sky was not so clear but you cannot say it as cloudy also some stars here and there could be seen as i told i started off by watching the clouds comparing their texture with weird object that struck my mind that very second like sometimes the pumpkin in halloween and sometimes a dinosaur with two legs and a long neck as i thought and thought about how good the weather was cool breeze dark blue sky creamish weird clouds i got my first topic god my head was seeing straight the center most part of the sky that was easily visible to me is he watching us God, are you hearing me? And one random thought came in. Hey, God is there everywhere. Followed by a, you know, that is also correct. But then things became serious. I started thinking about Mother Earth. Reminding you, everything was on spot. I had no idea that all these things will come to my mind. Staring the dark blue sky as deep as my vision would go, gazing the twinkling stars and watching the infinite, I started thinking, Mother Earth, the place wherein we live, a cool breeze passes that night. She has given us everything we need to live a comfortable life, air, water, most importantly, a healthy atmosphere. None of the planets have such conditions in our solar system. Are we the only one in the universe blessed with this beautiful planet or are there other alien civilizations too? Well, let's think about them later. Earth is so rich in its resources and we human beings are greedy. We are exploiting these resources. But we are not bothering about Mother Earth. We are ignoring her. But what would have happened to us if she had behaved in the same manner towards us? I could not imagine and for a second I felt I was so lucky that I was, that I was still alive and not been a victim to a violent flood or a deadly earthquake or any other natural calamity. Nature was not angry on me or at least had forgiven me for my mistakes like it does to its creatures most of the time. I realized that we are testing nature's patience and how foolish of us. After all, we are not even worthy enough to say that we are a dust in this vast gigantic universe. It is time to stop being foolish and to love Mother Earth because when we love, we don't feel like hurting the loved ones, which means we'll stop harming or hurting her. And that was today's random thoughts. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.